How does Cloudflare firewall work? How does Kuflare web firewall work? When someone tries to enter a website, he first goes trough the server of Cloudflare and then if a capture is sluvered he can see the content of the website. So from what I understand it goes like this user to domain to IP of firewall application to capture to IP of website to loads content. I am new to this security, but I am experiencing a DDoS attack 18 million requests daily from thousands of random IPs and the only solution is to make something like Cloudflare firewall where a user has to solve capture in order to reach the website. The problem why I can't use Cloudflare are two. The new HCAPTCHA is impossible to use, they have problems with redirects, it asks to solve a capture every time it has a redirect, and there is no control over setting really. So any suggestion for a reading material will be highly appreciated. Thank you in advance. No. Cloudflare is a reverse proxy. When a site uses Cloudflare, the client browser never connects to the origin server. They can even help you hide the origin server, so an attacker cannot attack it directly. The client connects to a server in one of approximately 200 points of presence they have around the world server farms. The request is processed by the server there. Rate limiting, TLS, WAF, page rules, cache, arbitrary JS code, etc. And if needed, the Cloudflare server connects to the origin server, performs a request, gets a response, transforms the response, caches it locally and serves it to the waiting client. Cloudflare is man in the middle as a service. You give them DNS control, they generate a TLS certificate for your domain and front the domain. It's possible that your origin server sees a tiny fraction of the number of requests served, and this lets a tiny origin server to handle a lot of legitimate traffic, stand up to DDoS attacks, etc. There are a lot of things you can configure, but that is the general idea. Cloudflare can also do just authoritative DNS server, without being a proxy. They can let you keep your TLS key, for compliance reasons. They are good at explaining how their products work and publishing many details on their blog, so I suggest you read their developer docs, not the marketing material for non-technical people. You can also contact their customer support.